Good morning. It is Tuesday, February 9th, 2021, and this is your gaming morning show, morning gaming news. Um, good news for me. Um, Sony may be working on a back button attachment for the PS5's DualSense. Um, this comes from Tom Power of IGN. Uh, this is uh, fantastic news because my, my biggest hesitation with uh, the PlayStation 5 is it is not compatible with my controller that has back buttons that I've gotten very used to when playing games such as Call of Duty. And the DualSense does not have back buttons. Um, so this is good news because I can just buy a back button attachment for my DualSense when they create it. Um, the snooze comes via, um, as most early technology news does, from a document published on the World Intellectual Property Organization database, um, which basically means that they're trying to get this technology patented for the dual sense, um, which doesn't necessarily guarantee that this attachment will come out and see the light of day, um, but they're at least working on it, which is good. Um, they released their back button attachment for the PlayStation 4's DualShock controller, um, and that works very well and seemed to be pretty successful because it was pretty hard to get for a while. Um, so I'm hoping they follow suit and make one for the DualSense. Two things. One, you seem super confident all of a sudden that you're actually going to get a PS5. I mean, you don't need a PS5 <laughs> controller if you don't have a PS5. So there's that. If you live in China, you can get one. And I mean, I know, I know, I'm going to get a PS5. It's just, is it going to happen soon, or is it going to happen in 2030 <clears throat> when they're widely available? I mean, are you? I, I still don't know. Maybe you'll just be like <laughs> blacklisted and you won't be able to get one. <laughs> uh, I will say this too. Uh, you also stole my homepage, which is that place where you get all the information. The the patent place that, that, that you just <laughs> the mentioned. world intellectual property that's, organization every time i open my browser that's exactly where it goes so that's number one yeah who doesn't <laughs> um e3 last year was weird um because of the pandemic <laughs> um and there was a lot of talk e3 has been struggling over the last like decade i mean when i was in college they were talking about like this could be the last e3 ever um and they're still having that conversation every year. So last year, being uh, the digital-only version of E3, it was not quite as um, successful, uh, which makes sense. Uh, but the ESA promises new details soon uh, um, regarding a, a digital-only E3 for 2021. Um, so it doesn't really surprise me too much that they're going ahead and having an E3 this year. Um, it also doesn't surprise me that it's uh, just going to be an all digital front. Um, the good thing about it uh, being planned this way is that uh, from the start, it's being planned this way rather than trying to change courses um, halfway through planning. Um, so check out Liana Rupert's report from Game Informer about e e ESA's plans for E3 this year. And we will be participating and watching all of the things. Is that a, I'm very excited did for you that. Just put that in this is first time I've done ten. One. I mean, I'll be there. You Sharpie, can't, you can't keep me away. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, do you remember a while back when I had a very uh, divisive um, comment and I said scalpers are stupid? <laughs> yes. Scalpers are still stupid. Okay. Um, and members of the UK I government um, partially agree with me. More um, stupid Joe than pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Joe Scribbles of IGN uh, reports and updates a story on um, a UK-based scalping ban that would ban scalping practices for both consoles and uh, other technology parts, such as high-end graphic ca graphics cards. Um, <clears throat> Douglas... Chapman MP has now formally brought forward a bill to ban gaming hardware scalping in the UK. Um, and it has gathered some momentum. Um, it still seems unlikely to pass, but the fact that it's gathered the support it has is promising um, in that it may lead to um, better legislation regarding scalping um, of, of things like consoles and technology. Um, so we'll keep an eye on this. Um, any large government that makes headway towards uh, banning these sort of auto uh, checkout practices and scalping practices is a positive, in my opinion, um, because it just offers that example. Um, and for those of you in the UK, uh, that'll be great for you sooner 
Um, but hopefully in the future, when we get a <clears throat> PlayStation 6 in 10 years, um, maybe it'll be easier to purchase. Six months. <laughs> I'm, I, f I feel more confident that I'm going to be able to get in PlayStation 6 before I get a PlayStation <laughs> 5. <laughs> but I digress. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that story. Um, like I said, in this write-up, and, and he does a good job with all the details that I'm not going to get into, um, it, it does seem unlikely to actually go through and pass, but it is a step in the right direction. And always last, Super Noah. but never least, we finish off today's Gaming Morning Show Morning Gaming News with the rolled renowned segment within a segment where we take a look at what is out today. The Wild 8 out on Xbox One. Hero U, Rogue to Redemption out on Switch. Hexagon Defense out on Switch. My Universe Pet Clinic Cats and Dogs out on Switch. And for the most prestigious award in video game focus morning shows your favorite segment within the segment within the segment today's name of the morning goes to one shell straight to hell out on pc i feel like you put some specific inflection on there yeah some i i reached out to the developers and that's how they prefer it to be i thought you said. didn't reach out to do we have a conspiracy now with name of the month uh oh sean this whole time has been saying doesn't talk about it doesn't pay know for about play it. And then now, now we know how we get our name of the morning. What do you work for the NCAA? That uh, the scalper ban thing is great. I don't know why it wouldn't pass because that really. Are you okay? Did you get some lemon in your eye or pineapple? Pineapple juice. Yeah, uh, the band thing is uh, is really annoying because it's like it, when you look at trying to buy like a PlayStation or a, an Xbox. I mean, they're like a bazillion dollars. Like, what the <laughs> heck, man? Yep. One shell straight to hell out today straight for to PC. Hell. That is her name of the morning, and thus eligible straight for name <laughs> of the month. Uh, we will pick our name of the month in early March and give you a chance to win it as part of our Patreon as well. You